Hi there, teachers from all over the world. Welcome to my teaching world. This is the second video on this series, Learning English Through the Things You Believe In. Many students have asked me to teach on the Lord's Prayer and some prayers and religious stuff for them because that's what they like. And I have found out that learning with the things that you love is when you learn the most. After the first video, I got many emails from many teachers asking me to share my lesson plans on um, the lesson of the Lord's Prayer. So that's what I'm going to do now. The first thing I do is I give them pronunciation tips. For example, we have the words kingdom and debtors in the prayer that have silent letters. We also have, you know, words such as holy and heaven that has the h sound. We do not have H sound in H in Portuguese, so I think they need to know that. How about your language? Also, the TH sounds, the TH and TH, it's very important for them when reading a prayer or reading anything in any language. And here we're talking, we are talking about English, right? Also, words such as bread and lead, both of them have the, the letters E and A together, but in bread, the sound is ad and in lead, the sound is ed. So if you give them these pronunciation tips, when they start reading the prayer, they're going to pronounce it properly. After I give them pronunciation tips, I read the prayer with them word by word. It's really important to pronounce every word the way it is. Second tip is about grammar. Well, I call it meaningful grammar because instead of giving them exhausting grammar rules and working only on rules, you're going to show them how to use that in their everyday life. So in this case here, I translated my is meu, your, seu, our, nosso, it's Portuguese. If you think you have to translate, go ahead. If you don't need translation at all, do not translate it. And then, for example, I showed them that although the prayer says our Father, I can make a prayer personal and say my instead of our. So instead of using the pronoun our, I can use my. So this is grammar. Also, when you, you know, you can see that all over this prayer, there is verb to be our Father who is in heaven. Holy is your name. There are many verbs that you can work in many ways, but here, you know, you don't have to give many rules about verb to be, but what you do is you make it functional. You just make it work in their everyday lives. How can they use is, be um, understood and have a communication with someone? My tip number three is on vocabulary. How about expanding it? Well, the prayer starts with our father. Father is a family member. What other family members can we learn today? Mother, brother, sister, grandma, uncle, aunt, grandpa, cousins, and many others, right? My tip number four is what I call make it real bring meaning to it. Well, if it's not meaningful, if they're not going to use those words in their everyday lives, then it's it doesn't make sense for me. So, for example, in the prayer, we have our Father who is in heaven. Holy is your name. We have verb to be here. So, instead of giving them, you know, many rules about is, just use it with functional sentences, sentences that they're going to be using in their daily lives. My name is Glacy. I am from Brazil. You see, we're talking about is, but then you can teach them am, are. Carla is my friend. Antonio is my daddy. Portuguese is my first language. English is my second language. 
Then, for example, we have my father who is in heaven. Now we're talking about my pronoun. If I say my father, what are the words or sentences can I use with my? My mom is Brazilian. My friend loves me. My brother is intelligent. My sister is beautiful. What's your name? My name is Glacy. My favorite color is red. With our, our father, I can say our mother. Our mother is here. Our friend is sick. Let's visit him. Our sister is American. What's our class number? It's number seven. Our favorite teacher is Glacy. Yeah. <laughs> your, your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. What other sentences can I say using your? Your name is beautiful. Your boyfriend is tall. Oh, look at your hair. Your hair is long and beautiful, etc. Okay. And my favorite tip ever, get inspired. After the class, no matter how fun it was, bring more fun to it. How about a song, a play, a poem, a free conversation, a writing activity, a project? Well, song is my favorite ever because we can learn so much singing. We can memorize singing. And many people, most of them, most of the students love to sing. And as I said, for, for this project, I wrote two songs that you're free to listen to, sing with your students, and if you want, record videos and send them to me. So if you didn't watch video number one, go and watch it, listen to the song, because in this video I'm going to, to teach you a second song. It's also about the Lord's Prayer, but it's a different one. So you can choose which one you liked the most and which one you want to sing with your students. How about singing with your students, recording the video and sending it to me? I am going to love to see it. My Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in heaven. My daily bread give me today and please forgive my sins. Don't let me fall into temptation. From evil deliver me, for yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory, forever I may. My Father, who is in heaven, Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in heaven. My daily bread give me today and please forgive my sins. Don't let me fall into temptation. From evil deliver me, for yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Forever, amen. Amen. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Yours is the power, the kingdom, the glory. Forever, amen. Ooh, my Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. As I said in my first video, I'm, I'm very open-minded. So whatever religion, whatever my students believe in, if they come to me and ask me to teach them a prayer, I... I do. I teach them. Okay? And they have learned a lot. 
through songs, through prayers, through stories of the, their religious books. Yeah, it's been really meaningful. So I hope you got some ideas for your classes. And last but not least, do your best. Do it with lots of love in your heart and you will have amazing results. Bye-bye. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in heaven. Our daily bread, give us today, and please forgive our sins. Don't let us fall into temptation from evil, deliver us. For yours is the power, the kingdom, and the glory. Amen. For yours is the power, the kingdom, and the glory. Amen.